for this video, the two he's gonna need is a breaker bar, a 24 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, a socket that will fit your wheel nut, and some eye protection. You're gonna need a jack. You need a jack stand. The new transmission fluid you're gonna use. A funnel and something to catch the fluid. The first thing I'm gonna do is get under the hood and take out the dipstick for the transmission. Once you take off the intake duct, you can see the dipstick. Now I'm gonna break loose the wheel nut before I jack the car up. I'm gonna jack the car over here because the jack stand is gonna go on the left side. With jack stand in place, I can lower the car. And now I'm just gonna quickly take off the lug nut. The bolt I'm gonna take off is right here. And I'm gonna take off this bolt with my 24 inch millimeter socket attached to my breaker bar. Now that it's finished draining, I'm just going to put the boat back on. The torque spec for this boat is 24 plus or minus 1 foot pound. Now that I'm done with the drain bolt, I can put the tire and the lug nuts back on. With the tire in place, I'm gonna jack the car up and take off the jack stand. The torque spec for the wheel nut is 73 plus or minus seven foot pound. And don't forget to tighten the bolt in a crisscross pattern. 
I found that a long neck funnel works best when you try and pour in the new fluid. And now I'm gonna check the fluid level and it look good. Don't forget to put your intake duct back on. Now we're pretty much done with the work. The last thing you need to do is take your car out for a drive and see how your transmission shift. Click the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe for a future update. And again, thanks for watching.